Hey YouTube, uh, this is just a quick test. Um, we're having a conversation on Twitter with uh, Green, at Green the Only on Twitter about radar and whether or not radar is actually being used or not on FSD 9.x and we're on 9.1 right now. Uh, he, he had the opinion that if it was installed it's being used and Elon you know, has reported that we're doing Tesla vision only but obviously there's some, obviously a, per, a, a way of the radar being used without us knowing it. The only indications I, I've been aware of were the way the high beams react, the way the distance uh, reacts with the distance only being able to be set between two and seven, and uh, my speed has been limited to 80 uh, miles an hour. But uh, as a quick test, I decided to put a little bit of uh, tin foil on the front of the car over the radar location. Um, we verified with a few other folks um, on Twitter where the radar location was, right in the center of the front of the car. Uh, I took a picture of it with my iPhone. I'll insert it uh, right here. Okay, um, so I've got a destination just to target and just some of the behaviors, uh, ultrasonics are obviously covered. So right here you can see that the ultrasonic sensor, even though I'm, I'm in the street here and it's telling me to stop, uh, that's all ultrasonic. It, it thinks something is right in front. Um, but I do have the navigator and autopilot steering available and I do have a route in here to target. And once I engage autopilot here, um, it, it's giving me some bells and whistles from the ultrasonics, but it's proceeding. Um, and it looks like it, it stopped there for a second. Um, so I'm just going to kind of drive for a little bit, see if I see anything else uh, noteworthy. Just got a little bit of a sprinkle here. It rained a little bit harder a few minutes ago, so the roads are a little bit wet. Um, I'll see if I can get this car to take an unprotected left again. If not, I'll, uh, I'll help it. And it does say park assist unavailable. Obviously, that's an another ultrasonic uh, indicator there. So I am in a position at the stop line, I do have a car behind me, uh, where it's just waiting and I can't see the traffic. So I need to tap the accelerator a little bit just to kind of get it to go forward where I can see. A lot of cars coming here. I don't think this is gonna be successful, but I will let it decide here. I am leaning as far forward as I can to see. If my head was back at the B-pillar, there's no way I could be seeing these. So I'm just gonna tap the accelerator here a little bit. Nope, I need to wait again. All right, I am gonna manually tap the accelerator here and let it do its thing. Kind of rough there, but that was me pressing the accelerator to get it to go. At least it followed the lateral path uh, of the blue line this time. The last few uh, sessions it has got, tried to go to the right there. All right, so here we are. Um, we'll try to get some car interactions here. This poor weather detected is obviously from this rain. It has nothing to do with the radar, but having the rain actually might be a good scenario to do this radar test. It's funny now that I'm moving and not stop, the ultrasonic sensor warnings and dings have gone away. So maybe it's even like the car doesn't use those ultrasonics, even though they are showing the side ones here while we're, while we're driving. definitely braking ahead of me and I'm it's decelerating that's my t turning force there I wasn't giving it quite enough of a tug so that I that felt exactly like a Tesla vision deceleration there um, obviously my radar is blocked right now uh, and it, it, it slowed down normally let's see what it looks like up here at this intersection with all these other cars Got a yellow light, looks like it's gonna go for it. Okay, it did. Another Model Y 
there with a roof rack. You can see the cars up here in the distance, but they're just a little far out for Tesla Vision to be seeing them. I wonder if, if the rain uh, is, is creating a little bit of a distance gap there. Seems like cars at about that range, but okay, they're just starting to come in there. That's, so that's just about the visualization max range there. You can start to see the green lights at a much further distance show up and hear these cars coming in. So let's see. So this uh, route's gonna have me go in this parking lot here. Make sure it slows down appropriately. Okay, it did all of that on Tesla Vision. Um, and it was an aggressive braking in the turn lane, which I liked. I, I've been talking about getting into the turn lane before decelerating a lot recently. Um, and I'll just go ahead and let it take it into the, in the parking lot and then uh, see if we see anything as we slow down in parking lot navigation here. There is no stop sign here. It does think it's stopping at 400 feet, but it needs to just take that curb appropriately, and it did. Nice adjustment for that car. All right, um, it stopped there. For no, there was a car here next to me, but I, I don't know why it slowed down there. It's just doing parking lot and half here, but it's doing a good job. Um, it's marking these medians appropriately, I think. Here's a nice stop sign all the way to zero well it went to one very slow acceleration here there's definitely you no know, traffic in the way at the moment it's creating a yellow line that didn't exist there on the visualization pedestrian here, properly marking. And it's gonna say we reached our destination. I have to say that, um, okay, I've just disengaged, was a very good um, navigation once we got onto the road. And that's kind of been my theme recently is that FSD bait is doing really good once I get it on the highway. It's the, it's the maneuver of getting it on the highway that seems to be a little rough um, around the edges still. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get a route back in here and I will initiate it in the parking lot again and we'll just see how it does. All right, we're engaged. Looks like it's got a, this is a pretty large parking lot. Um, Interesting, I got a right. Oh, I see what it's doing here. It wants to go left and right, which is appropriate. It's going out to the street light. It's got a funny little intersection here, very hesitant. Nobody's around me, so I can let it do its thing. Okay, it ran that stop sign there. I'm gonna just flash that. All right, it's in the wrong lane now. This is in a left turn lane. So it realized it and it's getting itself over. So this is a good example of when there's no cars around in your way, it'll figure it out. If there were cars coming and going in this intersection right now, there's no way I would have been able to let it do that maneuver there, um, bite back to the other lane. I am allowed to do right on red here. It is saying use accelerator or gear stock to continue. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap the accelerator here. Um, all right, it is not quite clear to the left. It might see that. And this car is turning, so I'm gonna tap the accelerator. Well, I'm gonna let it, I'm gonna sit here for a second and see if it'll go. And it, okay, that's the car doing it, that's not me. And it did a good job uh, with that unprotected turn, a very wide open scenario. There was not a gap it had to fit in, it just waited. All right, so this is just a return leg. That was just me not giving enough tension there. Model three. Down 
sound great tone. These barrels are in the road uh, like they were on my last video, but here's a good example of cross traffic with Tesla Vision uh, slowing down. That would have freaked out before on radar. That was the use case right there that tells me in FSD it's not using radar. That exact maneuver where those cars are cutting out um, and the radar didn't stop or, or aggressively break is the reason I, I'm now convinced that it's not using radar um, at all. Even if my foil has ripped off just then, I, that was a pretty good example. All right, here we are again, and it, look, it wants to get out of this lane. This is not a great behavior. Wow, that was close to a Porsche. I probably shouldn't have let it get that close. Uh, but it jumped out of a, a slower lane into a faster lane, but it ultimately is the correct lane. Um, I, I, sometimes I wish it those red lights, it would just kind of wait its turn and, and get the flow of traffic. Jumping lanes when traffic is stopped isn't a great behavior. the uptone again, navigating autopilot, using this windshield rain detection. Um, it, no effect on FSD beta right now, other than I can I can hear the tone that if I was on the highway, it would go from navigator and autopilot to auto steer. acceleration here for a turn it's not based on any of these cars so this is not really a radar maneuver blinkers on curb detection working with the ultrasonics on the right side okay that's basically a round trip to target with my radar blocked out with foil um, I think that I am con Exclusively convinced in city streets mode. I didn't go on the highway here um, That radar is not being used and my mind was convinced when those crossing cars went in front of me and Tesla Vision city streets slowed appropriately and then re-accelerated Previously with a with the radar on version 8.2 and, and before uh, This is a 2020 model Y that has a radar installed it would have aggressively stopped reevaluated and then figured out when to slowly accelerate Anyway, I uh, love to hear some thoughts and comments. This was a great fun experiment. Green, hey, I appreciate you uh, helping me think through this with the group. Have a great day. GoPro, stop recording.